It's nearly Valentine's Day. We're getting close to that time of the year again. And to be honest, I'm not great with relationships. <laughs> but today I'm gonna to be counting down 10 TV shows and movies that make me wish I had a girlfriend. And I honestly couldn't order these. So we're just gonna jump in for whatever first came to mind. So the first one I have is Love to Death. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce its original title. It's a Mexican soap opera. I, I'm just gonna butcher it, so we're not gonna do that. But obviously we got the couple Juliana and Valentina in it. Oh God, I love these two so much. And I was so obsessed when this was airing. They just give me the feels, you know? They give me the feels. They have those looks. Those eyes are intense. They're looking at, at each other intensely. And I am just in love. And it gives me the butterflies, right? And I'm like, God damn, that's what I'm missing. <laughs> they also got the great like, oh, I mean, a kind of a height difference, but they're both like tall, but I just like love them both. They're just, oh, Holly and Tina is just golden. And I am still patiently waiting for their spin-off to happen. I haven't heard anything about that, but moving on. Of course, I had to put uh, Waverly and Nicole from Winona Earp. When I think about what I want to do most in this world, you. I would have to say more specifically season one because they like season one Waverly and Nicole gave me the feels. Their first kiss, holy shit, that got me. That got me so good. Like it got me in the feels, okay? <laughs> Obviously we got the, the got, we got the height difference. We got the redhead. It's ticking all my boxes, right? And it's just making me feel all the feels. Now I say season one just because like, I feel like season one is so fluffy and like, the build up to, the, to a relationship is always the thing that gets me. Typically when they get into relationships, I kind of start to lose interest a little bit. So that's why I say specifically season one. But I will say like, obviously I love them throughout the seasons. The last season was great. We had, there was a lot of steamy scenes, which um, was great. We got episode two, which was a great episode for me. I enjoyed that. <laughs> We also had a wedding. I'm not typically a huge fan of like, cause it's typically, it's typically like a rushed wedding and it frustrates me cause I have a fear of commitment, <laughs> but I love their wedding, okay? <laughs> but we're gonna move on because like I'm exposing all my flaws right now. <laughs> I am fine. Next up, I've put the movie Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman because oh my God, Elizabeth and Olive in this movie, so good. Is this what you really want? I love you. I just love the like the passion and the love in this movie. Like they just, uh, they love and want each other. And it just, you can feel it. Obviously, you know, there's some great scenes in this movie as well, <laughs> which I thoroughly enjoyed. But I also like, you know, love the ending. Like they stayed together, which I mean, you know, if you don't know, it's kind of based on a true story. Yeah, I don't know. I think like the ending where I saw them like sort of like walking off together and it, when they were older, I was like, oh, God damn. Okay, so that's what we want. Okay, I see. I see why people want these relationships. It's cute. <laughs> Moving on, we've got Yorkie and Kelly from San Junipero, which is the episode from Black Mirror. Oh, this got me in the feels. Again, you know, we got the height difference. We got the redhead, you know, you know, okay? We get it. They also just have chemistry. I love the whole like dynamic of, you know, Yorkie's really shy and she just, you know, needs someone to lead her. And I <laughs> relate. <laughs> Look, I need a Kelly in my life, right? I need a Kelly, please. <laughs> and like, we got a happy ending, which is great. Like, especially for a Black Mirror episode. Like, it's like, you can live forever. And you know, it does trigger some of my nervous commitment issues. But you know what? If I had their love, maybe I wouldn't be scared of forever, right? <laughs> Next up, we've got Emily and Sue from Dickinson. You really are my favorite person in the world. Let's just run all the way to the edge of the earth and fall off. Sounds nice. <sighs> These two were a roller coaster, I'm not gonna lie. Because, you know, I did mention, <laughs> I did mention like my favorite part of relationship is the build up, but we didn't get that with Emily and Sue. Like they're in it from the get go. And I love that, but it's messy. Like, it's not like, oh, they're together now. It's like happy until like a stupid drama comes along. I want the mess. I want you. It was a complicated relationship through the whole thing. And honestly, I just love the actresses. They just, they get me. You know, Haley has my heart. <laughs> 
I mean, so does Ella. They both do. <laughs> but they just have so much chemistry. And like when they get those like really close moments, oh, they give me the butterflies, you know? In the last season where like Emily pushes Sue up against the wall, it's like, we need to talk later. I was like, damn, hey girl, hey. <laughs> Yeah, these two are complicated because like, it's a complicated relationship, obviously because it's based on an actual real life people. But like in my mind, where they live like sort of happily ever after, it's like, damn, yeah, that's, I could, I could want that. <laughs> but I don't know, they're, they're just, they're, they're, their moments together are just so captivating that like, <sighs> I love it, I love it. Next up, I've put Teenage Bounty Hunters. <laughs> Because <laughs> look, I'm whipped for these two. We've got April and Sterling. And look, I'm not even going to lie. I feel like the main reason behind this is I've just got a massive crush on Devon. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I was obsessed with Teenage Bounty Hunters, you know? And like, I I don't know if it was specifically like the couple necessarily. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love the couple. They've got chemistry. But like I said, had a serious crush on like Devon. But I also like... I don't know when it was just like the community around this show and like how excited people were around this couple and like I don't know the 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 sort of I don't know what it was about the community but I was like oh man I want to experience this with someone <laughs> it was just a fun time it was a fun time okay next one look I was contemplating whether I should put this one on my list or not but like I have to put it on this list because it does it does give me all the feels and it makes me want that happily ever after even though they don't necessarily get it i put danny and jamie from bly manor <laughs> are you wait for your beast in the jungle do you want company like the saddest freaking ending of all these couples the whole point is to make you cry Ugh. it's like a depressing ending but their relationship is like everything to me you know like they love each other so much and they're here to make the most of the time that they have with each other and i can feel that i can relate to that because it's like sometimes i get stuck in my head of like i don't know where this is going what's happening like i get like stuck in the future a lot of the times you know and i get into like these anxiety spirals but danny and jamie just really like grounded it and they were like the future doesn't matter. We're just enjoying now and we're enjoying each other while we have each other. And I was like, oh God, okay, yes, I want that. Next, I've got A League of Their Own. Oh, this show was just so good. I freaking love this show. Obviously, we've got Carson and Greta. Thanks for believing in me. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. I mean, chemistry, right? Height difference, right? Just here for it. Again, we kind of have that, like, like with I was saying with Yorkie and Kelly, we've got that kind of like shy dynamic with Carson and like Greta is like leading, you know, I just, I, 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 I want that. <laughs> but also like this show gave me Joe and the bar girl. I don't even know if she has a name. But they're seen dancing together and the bar girl just like so in love with Joe. And I'm like, God damn, this hits me in the feels. Like I want that. <laughs> so yeah, this show made me want a girlfriend in multiple ways, like with multiple of the characters. I just, I need a season two of this goddamn show. Next up, I've got the movie Crush. We got Paige and AJ. Wait, duh, what about AJ? Why would I ever do that? That's Gabby's sister. This movie, made me want a girlfriend more so in the way that I just kind of wanted someone to like love this movie with you know just be able to like I don't know chill out together and like snuggle and watch the movie because like it's not necessarily the couple but it's just the cuteness of the movie it's like this movie makes me want to enjoy it with a girlfriend right <laughs> it's that kind of movie it it would be best enjoyed with someone <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point okay last one last one <laughs> Last one, I've got the movie Summerland. We've got Alice and Vera. Was she the one you love? Would you think it was strange? No. I just, ugh, love them, right? I just love the whole, again, they have a happy ending and it's kind of like, you know, 
an older couple telling the story of like how they met and that's just really cute to me that's really cute even though they had like a period where it didn't work out for a long time i like that we got to see like their whole life like their relationship developed throughout their whole life because it's not going to be easy and perfect and amazing throughout the whole thing and they had their issues and they were separated for a good part of their life as well but they ended up finding each other again and i just love that <laughs> But yeah, that's my top 10 movies, TV shows currently that make me want a girlfriend going into Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let me know what gives you all the feels in the comments below. I need a whole list of TV shows and movies to, to occupy myself for this coming Tuesday. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.